My name is Nicole and welcome to The Week's Nest. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to take ordinary items from the Dollar Tree and turn them into home decor pieces. And these will have a spring theme to them since spring is right around the corner. I will also show you how to take a Dollar Tree sign that may not be your color palette and turn it into something that matches your decor. So if that interests you, then let's get started. For the first project, we'll be taking a Dollar Tree pizza pan and turning it into a piece of wall decor. For this, you're gonna use any cardstock. You're gonna want a heavyweight cardstock for this, um, any color of choice. I decided to go with this natural brown color and I just kind of saw where the curves were in the pizza pan, made indents with my scissors and then made sure that I cut them out, having rounded edges so that they fit in the pizza pan. Using Mod Podge, I'm going to apply the cardstock to the center of the pizza pan. Don't worry that it's not gonna cover everything. We'll be going in with some Dollar Tree nautical rope and that will cover the um, edges that do not have the cardstock on it. I had a really curled piece, so I had to add some extra Mod Podge, but if you don't have a curled piece, you probably don't have to struggle as much as I did. So using some Dollar Tree nautical rope, I am going to hot glue in the inside of the pizza pan, adding hot glue as I go. And I'm gonna use this entire piece of nautical rope until it ends for the inside. And I'm just gonna take my time making sure that everything is nice and secure. Let me know down in the comments if you stock up on the Dollar Tree nautical rope every time you see it. It's hit or miss the inventory at the stores that I go to, but whenever I see it, I always stock up because there's just so many different options for projects using this rope. Once that nautical rope is done, we're gonna take another pack. We're not gonna use the whole thing. And this time we're gonna hot glue on the edges of the pizza pan. I'm first gonna go in the kind of the indent before the rim where there's a space where we just put the rope and then once I'm all the way around with that first layer, I will do one more on the actual rim of the pizza pan. And as you can see here, this isn't perfect. The rope does have a little bit of a wave to it in certain spaces, but it doesn't bother me. I like the way that it looks. So, you know, sometimes when you're working with rope and you're hot gluing, it might be a little bit curved, but it did not bother me. So. I just went with it. So as a hanger, I decided to cut a small piece, have a little bit kind of peek up, and then hot glue the other side. I hope that makes sense because you can see what I'm doing here and just securing it with extra hot glue. Now, since this had the nautical rope, I really was kind of getting like I don't know, beehive vibes with this. And I did a DIY recently with a picture of a bee, so I was feeling that for this picture. So what I decided to do was go on my Cricut, just go in design space and get a silhouette or outline of a bee, and this is what I have. And if you've not new, I cannot talk guys. If you are not new to my channel, you know that I absolutely love keeping scraps. And I also keep scraps not only of my vinyl, but of transfer tape because you can actually reuse that and it's a great way to save some money. So that's what I'm digging through in my scraps bin and I just use some leftover transfer tape and this is what I'll be using to put this on my picture. Taking this Dollar Tree decal, this came in a pack that said, stay humble, work hard and be kind. I thought that the be kind was appropriate for the bee theme we were going with so I just placed that on there and then also placed my decal next to it and I just kind of eyeballed how I wanted everything. And the nice thing about the decals is that if you don't press down too hard, you can relift them and reposition them. So that's what I had to do to make sure that everything fit on here perfect. And like I said, I've been really into this kind of bee theme in my spring decor this year. So let me know down in the comments what kind of theme you're going with your spring decor or maybe colors. I always love hearing how everyone's decorating. And this is how it turned out. Super simple and I love that I was able to use a Dollar Tree pizza pan. Right 
moving on to the second project, we will be using a piece of a Dollar Tree foam board and we'll be using a piece of the black foam board. I will also be using one of the Dollar Tree calendars. Guys, don't forget about the calendars. They have so many great like sayings and artwork in them and they are perfect for DIYs. So this one had a lot of really cute pictures and sayings and I decided to go with this one that says, Just Believe. And I loved the flowers. It was just very spring to me and I just cut out around the flowers as best I could. And I loved that the pink and the grays in this, I thought really pop against the black foam board. So I used foam board in a recent DIY, it was like farmhouse laundry decor, and that laundry redo will be coming probably either in February or March, so I will definitely be sharing that with you guys. But I just took a piece of scrap foam board, I took a paint pen and kind of painted the sides so you don't see the white, and then taking some Mod Podge, I just put that in the center of the foam board. It hung over a little bit, but I didn't mind, and I just smoothed out any bubbles that were there. Then taking some scrap basswood from that previous project, which I can put up in the cards here, which was my laundry signs, I just took a, I took some hot glue, glued it one piece on the top and one piece on the bottom, and I had already stained this in the Waverly Antique Wax. Super simple and a great way to use some Dollar Tree foam board as well as some of the calendar artwork. Some kind of shimmer in your presence Unlike no other I had met And the last project is going to be a Dollar Tree family sign redo. So taking this sign from Dollar Tree, I'm going to paint it with this pewter chalk paint from Art Minds. I picked this up from Michaels a while ago, and I'm gonna give everything a good coat of this, making sure that I also paint the sides. And I'm gonna kind of go for like a galvanized look, although I'll be the first to admit I am not great at the galvanized technique. I've done it in a few of my videos. I am constantly trying to practice it, but you know what? I don't go for perfect. I just go for the look that I like, and I just keep practicing, and there's nothing wrong with that, guys. So I made sure that I used a blow dryer just to get into all the creases. And to make our galvanized look, I'll be taking Apple Barrel's white and jet black acrylic paint, as well as the Nicole Gunmetal multi-surface paint. Taking a sponge, I am going to mix all three colors and just by eye kind of playing with it. I started a little more with the white and the gunmetal and then I felt that I wanted a little bit of a deeper kind of hammered galvanized look. So then I added a little bit more of the black. I just kind of dabbed and then smeared it. Again, I'm not perfect at this. There are so many great tutorials on the galvanized look if you're looking for a more detailed one here on YouTube. Again, I'm just kind of going with the look that I thought would look nice. So I just made sure I evened everything out. It looks like a hot mess while I'm painting, but you just kind of keep smearing and dabbing, and I promise the end result does look nice. You got me spinning out of context. Not really sure what I wanted this to look rusted, so I'm taking a brown acrylic paint. Any paint you have will do. Putting a little bit on that same sponge, I'm just gonna work kind of like the outer corners of each of the letters and a little bit in the middle just to kind of give that like galvanized, like rusted look. I thought that would look nice and something different from the decor that I have already in my home and the brown paint definitely helped achieve that. I love that Dollar Tree is carrying decor like this. And even if you don't like the color it comes with, a little bit of paint, you could really transform it to be the color that you want for your home. What I should do. This is the reason I am leaving. I can't live. Love how budget friendly and easy all of these projects were to make. And I hope you enjoyed them too. So I hope you enjoyed these DIYs. I hope they gave you some inspiration for your home on a budget. So let me know down in the comments which of these was your favorite. And before I let you go, this video is 100% not sponsored. But you know I've shared a lot of Simply Earth essential oils in the past with you guys. I've done a whole bunch of videos showing you and sharing coupon codes for their oils. They just came out with the February essential oil recipe box. 
I will put all of their information down below. They are such great products and they also have a lot of fun DIYs that you could do for your home or self-care using the oils. So I have a coupon code, like I said, I will either put that down below on the screen or in the description box. So don't forget to check that out. It comes with lots of fun oils. It comes with labels that you can put on the different recipes that you make. And I just love using their oils each month and the different DIYs that come with them. They're just so much fun. So make sure you check the description box down below if you're interested in that. So if you enjoyed this video, like I said, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you are not already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.